Good morning, children. Today we will learn about the sexual reproduction in plants. In sexual reproduction, uh, there is the fusion of male gamete and the female gamete. Then, after the fusion of this male and female gamete, get to the new cell that is the zygote. Okay, zygote. From that, the new individual produce. Okay, develop. That uh, in that see in um, in this uh, actually what happens so both the characters that means the mother uh, parent uh, mother parent getting the um, one character and the father get uh, another character when these two joins together so there will be a mixing of uh, characters uh, to the offspring okay for the individual getting the mixing and matching of both of their their characters mm -hmm. that only uh, so here in this uh, see uh, in higher organisms there will be the separate uh, organs for doing this reproduction okay they are the sex organs and here see um, in plants which is the reproductive organ reproductive organ flower okay flower is the reproductive organ in plants now see that uh, in some plants only one sex organ is present that means either male or female both will not be there so such plants are known, such flowers are known as unisexual flowers. What they are? Unisexual flowers. It means there will be either, the uni means a single, right? Either the male uh, sex organ or the female sex organ. Only one will be there. But uh, then they have to, uh, uh, that means uh, get the another uh, opposite uh, sex from another flower. Okay. But in some cases, some flowers, that means in some plants. Okay. These are, I am talking about a plant. In one plant, if there is only one uh, kind of uh, uh, organ is there, then it is unisexual flower. And if in some plants, there will be both the sex organs, okay. So, that means both the male uh, sex organ and the female sex organ will be present in the same flower. Then it is known as the bisexual. Bisexual flowers, okay. Bi. So, both. Both are there. Now, see how it will be uh, explained now, okay. Uh, so for this, I am first explaining you the structure of a flower. Okay. Uh, what, is, what is the structure of the flower? For the first, we will get the stalk of the flower. Okay. That stalk of the flower, that is known as what the pedicel. What it is? It is the pedicel. That means, the pedicel means stalk of a flower. Okay. Which will be attached with the stem. Then here itself you can see the swollen portion. Okay. That is the thalamus. Okay. In that. Long elongated tube it is. Okay. It's a long elongated tube. Then from here you can see this uh, outside. The outside there will be the green in color. Green color structures are there. They are the coverings of the uh, flower. Okay. So, they may be uh, some kinds of flower, it will be fused and some will be separated. And that will be uh, counted also. That means some kind of gets of five. If five petals are there, then five sepals also there. This green colored uh, portion, that is the outermost world of a flower. That is known as the sepal. Okay. Otherwise, you can call it as a calyx also. Okay. Calyx, that is the outermost world. Outermost part of a 
flower okay so this is a green in color due to that what is its function it actually protect the flower when it is in the bud stage okay bud stage after when it blooms only it becomes the flower okay so in the bud stage this sepal protects not only that the sepals some most of the plants are having the green colored sepals only okay this green colored sepals help for photosynthesis also okay it is green in color so it can trap the sunlight and it help for photosynthesis and some only some rare cases of flowers they won't have the color green colored calyx then that time they will have the colored uh, petals so colored sepals only okay and which uh, work uh, instead of the uh, petals okay now now it contains the colorful part that is not the colorful part of the uh, flower is known as the petals okay or we can say that it is the corolla okay this is the petal or we can call it as corolla it is a colorful part what is its main function these petals and sepals they are actually not having any reproductive role there but how it is helping indirectly see for that it here for getting the if there is having only female sex organs then for getting the male sex organs how the male sex organ will be get in this for that these petals it is having the attractive colors so which attract the insects and it may have some kinds of um, um, good flavor also smell also it produce because of that smell and the colorful uh, things uh, uh, insects uh, or some kinds of birds some other kinds of agents which help for pollination they also will come and attracted here then when they come over here and sit over here then only the male gametes the male uh, gametes will fall on this and get the fertilization okay so in that case this petals are indirectly helping for reproduction right now see inside here this uh, this is the second part then third part there are some uh, long tubes are there okay from the sides you can see some long filaments and which contain the organs like this so this is actually the filament and it contain here the anther it is the anther okay in this anther you can see some drops so that means a fine yellow powdery substances are there okay these yellow powdery substances are known as yellow powder okay they are not what that is known as the pollen grains what it is pollen grains so here in this both that are there okay so, so this is what it is actually uh, not only one um, some more also there Okay, this uh, this is one as what? This is the stamen. Stamen means that is the male sex organ. Okay, male sex organs are known as the stamen, and then inside the this 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 one was swollen portion, right? And with that the elongated tube that elongated tube is known as style okay and this portion it produces the um, flavor or the smell scent and that is helping for attracting the insects okay this is known as the stigma stigma and here this swollen portion is known as the ovary so this is what this is the female 
sex organ okay the female sex organ and here inside what will be there ovules produce okay these are the seeds okay the seeds are there they are the ovules okay ovules now see what happens uh, during this this is uh, actually the structure of a complete flower okay because all those four uh, worlds are there that means the outermost world which one it is the sepal sepal is the outermost world and then the second world is what uh, petals okay petals here sepal then the third world that is the stamen that is the male organ and the fourth one it is the female organ the ovary that means the ovules will be there inside okay that is, is the carpal we can say it as a carpal or pistil okay what it is pistil so here i explained here calyx here it is corolla then for the stamen it will be called as andrician and for the female uh, uh, um, carpal, it will be called as gynecium. Okay. The, now see, these all four worlds present in a flower, then such flowers are known as the complete flower. If any one of this is not there, then it is an incomplete flower. Now what happens? Uh, how this uh, sexual reproduction happens over here? This, uh, um, the insects, uh, they move from one player planted, one flower to another flower for sucking the nectar. They used to, do, they, because this uh, produces the nectar, right? That if it, when it sucks the nectar, it uh, sits over here in this flower. That time, this pollen grains, this, these are the yellow colored, that means anther, which produces the uh, yellow color powdery substance. That contains the pollen grains. So, pollen grains, they are the male uh, reproductive organs. Okay. So, these uh, pollen grains will be stick on the legs of the um, insects. Okay. Or if the birds are sitting there, then the birds also uh, get this, uh, that means in their body, it will be stick over there. Then what happens? This insects, butterflies um, or some kinds of birds. When it after sucking the flower from one flower, it goes into another flower. That time what happens? The powdery substances stick on the legs. Now that will be fall onto the flower there. Okay. So how here? That is the pollen grains. When the insects come and they sit over here. The pollen grain present on the um, insects will be fallen fall on here. Here, so this this is the stigma. So it is the elongated tube. Through this tube, that pollen grains comes inside. Down through that, it will come down. And here, what is there? The ovary contains the ovules. Okay, so here only the X. Then this uh, ovary ovules. Then when it comes, this uh, um, pollen grains come and reaches here, then there will be a union of this uh, egg, uh, that means the um, uh, ovules and the uh, pollen grains. Then it produces the water, that is uh, uh, seeds, okay, that means that it becomes uh, fertilized, okay. Understood? So here... It, when it mix here, joined here and producing the uh, new cells, okay. That then the fertilization occurs. Then only it becomes the fruit. Then the fruit becomes changes into, uh, then from that inside what is present? Seeds will be there, okay. That will be the reproductive one only, okay. Uh, this, this one only the complete uh, structure of a flower and in that how the reproduction takes place. Understood this one? Now in the next class, I will explain you about how the pollination occurs. That means how from one flower to another flower, how the uh, fertilization occurs. Sometimes you see here in this both are there, right? 
that means the male and uh, this is the female one this is the male one so both are present in the same flower so it is a bisexual flower how happened here here in this itself how it happens because see when the insects it is simply it directly it cannot fall on this anyhow this pollen grain should reach on this place but it is simply separated the separated places only how it it should fall on this tube then only the fertilization occurs for that the um, insects help otherwise by wind also if the wind uh, uh, moves that time this from this the pollen grains uh, accidentally fall onto this tube then it goes down and fertilization occurs understood that i will explain in another class okay till that take care thank you have a nice day